as you can see now you more than doubled in size from the start of the game you almost monopolized the Sevilla trade note this 67% will go up over time to somewhat of 75% and you substantially weakened your early game rivals Castile and Morocco hello guys and welcome back my goal for today is showing you how to expand aggressively in the first few years in order to build up a power base as basis for later expansion and eventually conquering Europe for the all blue achievement. For this guide to work as intended you need to restart until France rivals Castile. Everything else is not RNG dependent but you need to defeat Castile early on and the alliance block between these two countries is just too strong for early game Portugal. As Portugal, at the start of the game, you got a Regency Council ending January 47. After that ends, you want to immediately declare on Castile. But until then, starting with the Estates, I'd recommend allow burghers economic freedom for trade power over here. The burger loans as always. Burgers financial freedom for 10% tax modifier, for the nobility increased levies for a little bit more manpower, and for all estates the mana privileges. Last but not least, seize land, and we're done with the estates. Now, get the half cost. Admin advisor you start with, get a military advisor, preferably discipline or morale. In this case we got a morale one, so we take him and focus on admin points just so we can rush the ideas. Build a spy network in Castile. Get an alliance with the Pope and a royal marriage with England. Regarding the fleet, delete 8 of your 11 starting transports, build 15 galleys, and a flagship with the siege impact so fleet blockade impact on siege and the trade power modifier per ship in fleet portuguese trade route map for the last one you can go with whatever you want i'm going with the let me see where it is movement speed on and off ships Lower the army maintenance and now you can unpause the game. After the first diplomat is back, improve relations with Burgundy to get a chance of inheriting them when the event fires. Now that you got over 100 admin power go over to your two starting states and get the order for 25 percent tax modifier in both of them when your first few galleys are built you can now delete the rest of your transports we just needed them to be above the threshold of sailors in our fleet to be actually able to build a flagship. It's now August 46. So raise the army maintenance. Get the defensiveness edict in your starting state with the two forts. Move your entire fleet to Suta
recruit the free company and a second nerd company with the highest siege stat so in my case they all got one so I'm just going with one of them and now that the merc stakes are recruited and the last of our ships are built get the mission English Alliance and competitive advantage for perma claims regarding most of the provinces you are going to take in the peace with Castile. I just saw that Castile is not allied to Aragon, which is something that barely happens. Most of the time Castile allies Aragon when it's rivaled to France. I'm showing you how I would fight this war under normal circumstances against both of them so you are still able to recreate it. Hello guys, it's me from the next day and today I'm going with you through the war against Castile in a safe game where they are actually allied to Aragon which is the normal scenario. So let's wait until the 18th January. If you want to you can also call in England in this war but depending on when the 100 years event fires they may or may not help you but it's a viable strategy with or without them. Now declare on Castile. And first you want to get Aragon out of this war. Therefore at the start stay in your provinces and wait for them to siege down your forts in Evora and Lisbon and if they hunt you you can move forward and backward between your forts in Ribatejo and Beja because they need to move around them so they can catch you. Now what you want to do is wait for them to actually siege down Lisbon and Evora at the same time so you can attack the smaller stack and then attack the next one so going back and forth attacking enemy stacks that are in these two provinces in Evora you can also use the river crossing from Badajoz I guess and Beira let me check Evora has a crossing to Badajoz right so these two provinces even get a crossing penalty if you attack from them and the second stack in Lisbo will not arrive fast enough to actually help the stack in Evora now you can see Castile will start sieging down Evora. Let's wait for Aragon. So your main goal for now is to weaken them. After you did that you want to go on to Aragon getting them out of the war. Now in this case Aragon is waiting in the north so we can attack Castile. So now that Aragon is reinforcing this battle, just see when they will arrive. So it would be the 29th of May in my case. And before they arrive, try to retreat. In my case, I have to wait to the 1st of June. As you can see, Aragon is hunting me. So I just go to Ribatejo and they can't follow me. If you lose too much troops in the first days of the war, go on and recruit another merc company. And remember that sometimes they also siege Suta. If you want naval dominance by that point, you can use your fleet to trap them in and effectively stake wipe them afterwards. Again, there's a smaller Castilian fleet, so let's defeat it. As you can see now they are sieging down 
both force at the same time, so I'm going to attack the Castilian army in Evora. Because the fort in Evora is close to capitulating, I'm now going to attack Aragon in Lisbon. And now would be the time to go on and try getting Aragon out of this war. So what you want to do is move your army to Valencia and start sieging down this fort. Now that we siege down Valencia we can check if Aragon is willing to peace out. They would be willing to get a white piece. In some cases you need to siege down more provinces of them. So everything south from Oscar and Barcelona. And in any case that would be enough if it's not enough to siege down Valencia. Just get a white piece with them. So I'm going to do this now. And after that we can concentrate our war effort against Castile. Don't forget to hunt the Castilian navy. And after you defeated the Castilian army again, go on, start sieging Toledo. In this wars you are going to accrue a lot of loans, but it's not a problem. You are going to make serious ducats through trade already after the first war against Castile. I finished the siege of Toledo, so now I'm going on hunting the Castilian army until it's finally defeated. Now we can start carpet sieging the rest of Castile. Now back to me from yesterday. In the peace deal after you won the war, go for these three provinces in the south, Huelva, Sevilla and Cadiz. In the north you want Orense, Zamora and Leon, Valencia, Cantabria and Burgos. This way we get four, actually five, centers of trade in one peace deal and Castile is only left with one in Toledo. And besides that, take just all the money you can get. Now that we won the war, start with releasing Leon and Galicia as your vessels. Now reduce war extortion as much as you can. If your fleet got damaged in this war, you lost galleys, just rebuild them now. Move your troops down south to Cadiz and enable divert trade from Leon. You can stop building a spy network in Castile. And as soon as your troops are gathered in the south, in my case I needed to recruit Mondon Merkstag, immediately declare war on Morocco and cobiliterate Granada and Tunis. They seem to always get this free ray alliance between Granada, Tunis and Morocco. For the war goal just take Tangiers and declare. Now in this war your first target is Granada. Start sieging down the old fort in Malacca. And blockade the strait with your fleet. You can now disable the defensiveness edict in Evora and enable it in Suta 
in case Morocco starts to siege the province. As you can see in Malacca, you now always get one extra siege pip from your pride of fleet when the fleet is actually blockading the fort you're sieging. As soon as the siege in Malacca is finished, go on and stack wipe the army of Granada. Leave behind a 4k mercenary stack, sieging down their capital fort. In this case I don't even have to because my vessels are already sieging down the capital fort. So now gather your forces in the south, don't forget to shift consolidate. And now you want to start sieging down Tangiers and attack the Moroccans if they are in Ceuta. After Tangier is finished, move on to Fez. But you can also wait a bit and attack everyone that tries to siege it back. Don't forget to check sometimes for Burgundy if you can get the Royal Marriage. As you can see, in my case, I can get it now. Again, in this war, always attack when you got a chance. In most of the cases, they won't bother reinforcing. After you siege down Tangiers and Fez, you only need to get Tunis out of this war and siege a couple of more provinces from Morocco and then you can get the peace deal you want. Don't forget to state the provinces you conquered from Castile. And as you can see now, to get Tunis out of this war, it's enough to just Locate all of the coastline and siege down some provinces and then you can get a white piece. So I had to siege back Tangiers, but now I'm able to get a favorable peace deal from Morocco. First off you want to full annex Granada and take the money. And regarding Morocco, take Fez so you don't have to siege down this mountain fort again and can use it yourself. Tangiers, Zale and Garb for the trade power. As much money as possible. And that's enough for this war. After the war, don't take the mission Conquer Tangiers, so we can actually use the minus 70% admin advisor when the economy is stable again. Unstate North Morocco. Put Garb and Tangiers into a trade company. Enable promote investments in both of your trading companies for additional 50% provincial trade power in the affected provinces and later on after you conquered more extra merchants. Destroy the forts in Tangier, Evora and Suta. Delete all merc stakes with zero manpower. Get the burger privilege and forest interfaith dialogue for lesser debuffs in Muslim provinces. 
and decrease the autonomy everywhere in Iberia. And from now on don't declare any wars until the peace with Castile is finished, so in my case that would be October 65. So I hope you enjoyed the first part of this guide. I'm planning to release more episodes if people are interested in that. So if you found it to be helpful, consider giving a like or writing a comment. After all, quite some time went into the planning and making of this video. Anyway, I hope to see you soon on the channel.